for watching Classic by Rider here. Bringing you a new video. Oh, let me fix this mic. I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. It's Wednesday, middle of the week. It's a home stretch. Holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend. That's the unofficial kickoff of the summer. Everyone is running around like a chicken with the head cut off. Traffic everywhere, of course. Made a video last week. Had some problems because I always do my outros with uh, cool music and I've been using this uh, this sample 19 seconds of a song since last year since the, uh, the first uh, Cobra Kai came out they had this song called Back in the Game by a band called Airborne Unknown People The song was never included in the soundtrack last year. However, they did use it for uh, the previews of the show. And I liked it. And I uh, found who it was, downloaded the song. Actually, I bought it. <clears throat> and I used uh, 19 seconds of it my intro last year and my outro last year so I used that for last week's video the 19 second outro of back in the game and I had a copyright infringement on it for a 19 second song the video wasn't even live yet I had ju us just uploaded it and they sent me an email, the uh, video has copyright music on it. That they were going to put commercials in the video and pay to the copyright holder. I said, no, nah, uh -uh. I don't even get paid uh, from my videos anymore. And nobody's going to make money out of my video for a 19 second clip. I disputed it. And it takes a month for them to respond to the dispute. So I said, fuck it. You know, I waited until today, last night. They didn't respond to my dispute, so I just, the video was never live. So I just took it down, deleted it. Since I still had the original footage, I re-render it and took that, uh, the 19 second that song off and deleted it from my computer never again so here I am it's a week uh, later and I'm doing it again I'm recording making another video I the video uh, I left it on the computer uploading because I just redid it last night so uh, once I get the notification that is uh, all set to go I'll set it live I usually wait for a while because once the video is done uploading and processing, it still takes a while before it's uh, full 1080p. So I'm gonna wait. Probably later on today, I set it live and uh, make this one. And probably build this video and make it next week and make it for uh, Friday. Tomorrow supposedly we're gonna have some rain, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take the motorcycle. Last week I rode all week. Well, actually, not all week, cause last Monday we didn't work because of the rain. We could have worked. This week so far, so good. So my last video from last week I was talking about scammers and all that crap 
<clears throat> how uh, now they even they are so sophisticated they uh, they have uh, they fake the phone numbers to make it look like someone's calling you from your same area code for example my uh, my phone number is 631320 and I'll be getting a lot of calls from 631320 numbers and since I have Google Voice those are Google Voice numbers I can just ignore them and uh, they'll go to the spam folder and I forgot to talk about last week when I was talking about people being scammed, people that I know. I don't know if I talked about this one, but if I did, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, a friend of mine, friend of a family, they, uh, they, like, they like sports, they like football. I'm not too much of a f uh, sport guy. Never really got into sports, you know. When you're little and your dad teaches you and uh, your dad plays with you, you get to like it. But my dad, we were a big family and we were poor. My dad had to work to support us. So never really had a dad to play with me or anything like that. So never really got into sports. When I was young, I tried getting into uh, baseball and all that crap because that's uh, the big sport in Puerto Rico. But never did, never liked it. I do some, I do like uh, boxing a little bit. I was a fan of uh, professional wrestling when I was young until I found out that it was all a sham. Because a friend of mine became a wrestler and uh, he had a, a ring in the back of his house that he was practicing, he used to practice on. <clears throat> but still I did like it until I was growing up then eh sometimes just I'm flicking the channel late at night although I don't flick the channels anymore most of my streaming is uh, YouTube Netflix online crap but if uh, see a wrestling match on TV maybe I'll watch it the Super Bowl I like to watch just because it's very exciting if I'm at a restaurant and they had TV on with uh, with baseball and stuff I'll take a peek at it but not not a super sport fan I'm not gonna just sit there and dedicate my Sunday to watch sports not, not for me I got better things to do then scream at a TV because some guy is running after a ball. <laughs> anyway, my friend, he's uh, they uh, dire fans of uh, soccer, you know, Colombian football. They're the ones that uh, get dressed with the Colombian colors and the flags and start cheering at a TV. That kind of person. So they got a call supposedly from Cablevision and offered them a deal. They tell them um, if he pays uh, $1,200, they come and stole on his house two boxes that includes all channels for life. Free for life. So he only paid the $1,200. And he uh, he get them for life. And what he had to do? Send the money via um, Western Union. Yay! So he does that. And the day they tell him they were coming, he waited and waited and waited and waited. And they never came. Ended up calling Cablevision, the number that they uh, someone called. And it was, in fact, a Cablevision number, but it was a faked fake number they tell him no that they don't offer such deal and that he should contact his uh, local police and they file a report but 
can never find those people. So he got scammed. I used to get phone calls from someone. They they ended up giving up because I always send it to the trash, you know, to the spam folder. I think I made a video. I, I, I know I did talk about this in my other video. I made a video with their uh, with the voicemail and the numbers that they used to call, put it on YouTube and let the internet blow their phone numbers. Because it was a real, actually, a, like a real office in Manhattan. They called you from one number, but they give you another number to call. They said, hey, you've uh, been, uh, what was it? Someone has filed a complaint against you and we need to reach you immediately. Please give us a call, this number, blah, 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 blah. I thought I looked it up and I heard that it was something with uh, T-Mobile buying, uh, a company buying old T-Mobile debts. And I said, that's funny because I never had T-Mobile. But who's to say someone might have stole my uh, my identity and woke up a uh, T-Mobile bill and never paid it. They were trying to get in touch with me. Then another point was Verizon. Someone trying to get uh, Verizon trying to get a hold of me to collect an old debt that I didn't uh, that I didn't make. So I just like screw it up. Screw you. I ain't paying it. So those are more sophisticated scams and nowadays they call in with uh, faking your uh, social security I know that some older people have gotten scammed already and uh, here in Long Island people have gotten scammed with the social security uh, crap I've been getting I used to got this uh, in fact this beginning of this year I had a call a couple of times the um, your uh, social security number has been suspended because of suspicious activity. The funny thing is that they have a machine because now nowadays uh, software, reading software can do a really, really good job. It's not like a person talking to you. So the message says, your social security has been suspended for suspicious activity. Please give us a call at this number. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, they don't, they don't pause. You know there is a machine because they don't pause. And they call from like 10 different numbers and they all be sent to the, the scam. Now Google, most of the time, knows where a number is a scam and it directly, direct, send it directly to uh, the trash, to the spam folder. I have my Google voice set up that if the number is not in my, none of my contacts, send it directly to voicemail and once I get the voicemail and if I think that it's spam I just block the number and send it to spam but yeah you gotta be careful out there so uh I was doing some calculus, <clears throat> calculating. I got gas yesterday, 4.3 gallons, $16. Last week it was $16 and 3.9 gallons. Last week was cheaper than <laughs> the gas. And according to my calculations, I'm averaging about 65, 65 miles to a gallon on this thing. That's great. So far I have 18 miles since my last fill up. I don't know if you can tell, but the get the hand is right past the full mark, so I fill it up just to get to the to that top ring. I ordered the oil filter to do the oil filter on this. Not gonna be this weekend because we have we were invited to we were invited to a uh, 
to a wedding. So I don't know when, uh, I don't know if the filter is going to come this week. I think it says the delivery date is the 29th, which is Tuesday, next week. So I got next weekend to do it. Catch you guys up in a little bit. Alright, so I'm a little up ahead. <clears throat> Wind's a little strong over here. Oh my god, yesterday the wind was so brutal. I don't know how many of you out there uh, have allergies, bad allergies. I don't particularly, I'm not particularly allergy, uh, allergic to anything, but the problem was so bad yesterday and that wind was howling so hard. <clears throat> I'm sitting there in the morning yesterday waiting for my bus and I can see the wind blowing, I can see the cloud of pollen flying through and I was hacking all day not sneezing but some, some sneeze but mostly coughing because that stuff goes into your throat through your nose oh my god I must have drank like 10 bottles of water yesterday just trying to get rid of the freaking pollen and the wind was so so hard in the morning it was blowing me side to side I told him I was gonna fall late late in the afternoon wasn't that bad on my way home my ride home wasn't that bad but I worked late it was uh, like almost no I got there I got there like a reasonable time like six o'clock scubas So I gotta be careful because in this couple of turns now the policemen are hiding because they know that a lot of people take this back roads to avoid the main stretch because of the traffic. <clears throat> I saw someone being pulled over the other day for speeding. Yesterday in Bridgehampton I take one of my back roads and there's a police hiding one of the bushes just watching some people blows up the stop sign because it's a four-way stop sign so there was one there and then further ahead another stop sign by the by the school there's a four-way stop sign another one I say geez they really want their money but they know that this is their prime season all the out-of-towners come they're not familiar with the roads they can catch someone blowing a stop sign and give them a ticket and they're not gonna fight it because if they for like California, Texas, they're not gonna come over here and, and fight the ticket. They just have to pay it. So this is their prime season. This is when all the towns made their money. <clears throat> I've been parking in now uh, 24, it's not 24 anymore, it's 23 hour uh, parking lot. You can, your vehicle can sit there for 23 hours unattended. And I've been finding that they come, they mark the tires to know if, to know if the vehicle has moved or not. So uh, I've been coming in in the afternoon and finding my tires with a chart mark. Well, that's very easy on a motorcycle. You can just spin the tire, the front tire. <laughs> but ain't no way I'm leaving my motorcycle there for 23 hours. No way, Jose. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, so. 
moving. So another thing that grinds my gears about this helmet, that was uh, Peter Griffin grind my gears, the episode. Well, another thing that grinds my gears about this cheap helmet from Colombia that my wife got me. The, <clears throat> the tinted sun visor has some kind of film that I can't take off. It's like stuck in there. And uh, shit, I can't see nothing. I put it down. nothing I have to basically go without it I can see better without the freaking sun visor that with it up that with the sun visor down I just put it down for a little bit but I try to clean it and it won't come off it had like a, when I got it it had like a little plastic attached to it that plastic left some kind of film in it and it won't come off I tried everything I tried Windex I tried uh, this cleaner that I got it's called glass cleaner that it works really well nothing I tried the spray for cleaning uh, glasses nothing I tried um, what is that other one that I have Rain-X Nothing takes it off. So that's a more compelling point for me to get a new freaking helmet. Tell my wife, no, this one doesn't work. What is this guy doing? road time because the, the village of Richampton over there gets too crowded and then you gotta go by the school and even slower so this will put me past all that mess I'll do how to watch out around here because like I said yes in my video earlier last yesterday it was at the end of this road it's a small school but the set speed limit is from 8 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. <clears throat> I think it's 25 or 15 something like that but there was a cop hidden there in the bushes waiting for people to blow the stop sign it's a three-way stop sign there's one road that way one road that way and this one goes straight it's a three-way, not four-way. I said a four-way stop sign. So I gotta watch out for that. But right now, I would have been stuck in traffic. But this is the Hamptons. And this is the home stretch. Tomorrow, oh, <laughs> I won't even think about tomorrow's traffic because tomorrow people start coming in from the city to their uh, summer homes for the first time. Some of them are already out. We have all the pools that we uh, the people wanted for the um, the holiday weekend. They are already open. Actually, there's one that we did. Tuesday and Monday, that is Wednesday, Monday, that there's no electric to the um, pool equipment. The guy wants it for uh, this weekend and they have a construction site at his house. So what we did, <clears throat> I told my boss, this is what we should do, take the cover off, sanitize it, even though it's not filtering, put chlorine in it. He put like, 
like three or four of those uh, floaties with uh, chlorine tabs in it and it has a good chlorine reading what I did is I backed the bottom was a uh, mud pole because there's the pool sits in uh, surrounded by uh, by grass so mud gets in there with the, all that rain that we've been having get sediment at the bottom so I backed all that out the pool is sanitized he refilled it back up now all he has to do is when the, the electric is connected it's filter it stun it up and filter it so we did that that pool is ready <clears throat> there's another one that is usually open by now but the guy owes my uh, my boss some money this last year he had to replace the filter and the motor and uh, according to I said he lost his job and he hasn't been able to uh, get cut up but he supposedly has some big check coming blah 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 but not my problem it's my boss don't want to open it but he wants it he wants it open so basically we had to do it and I told my boss the same thing you know run it under the cover that way it'll clear it up and then basically we just back it up we take the cover off back it up and fill it back up in front of Bridgehampton School and the village of Bridgehampton. <clears throat> Although you don't say much, you gotta forgive me. I <clears throat> clearing my throat. It's, my fault. it's already high. My boss is why she can barely speak. When you can, I don't know if you can hear that. You can feel the wind is blowing hard. Yeah. Not as bad as yesterday though. Yesterday I felt that it was pushing. Last week I uh, did that, I was caught up in that mess and I took one of the back roads and I know behind me there was a, mini, a blue Mini Cooper that had pulled out right behind me. So I went all the way around and end up in the other side of that side road, same road that I just came out of in the other side. And when I was waiting for the light to change, what goes by? The blue Mini Cooper. So. Did I save time? Maybe I would have saved time if the light would have been green for me. But I have to wait for the light. So the car went by and like 10 more cars went by after that. Before the light changed. So I didn't save any time. Sometimes it looks, the traffic looks slow. Just because it's moving slow. But it's actually moving. If it's at a standstill, then maybe you uh, is you gonna it's gonna take a long time. But if it's moving, even if it's slow, it's moving. So sometimes you're better off waiting than trying to cut cut around and uh, take a shortcut. I mean, you take the shortcut, you are moving, but you're not saving any time. You just feel like you're moving, you're not standing still. But that's what's that's what the the thing is about traffic. You're sitting 
Oh, you're driving slow. You think you're going slow, but if you take a uh, like a shortcut, you may go around a lot of traffic, and by the time you go around, you end up in the same spot you were or behind. So in the past weeks, I was coming around the back and ended up up ahead, not knowing that this stretch of traffic is clear for a while now. <clears throat> so the only the only spot to avoid is that Bridgehampton stretch from like the Kmart to uh, the school. That's the only stretch that you can avoid. You have to avoid. But the rest of this is clear. This is good. I like this. I like it a lot. Alright, these videos are coming out too long for me. I'm trying to keep them not that long because uh, people get bored. So I'm going to catch you later on my way home. Holy camoli. Long freaking ass day. Finally getting off from work. It's what, like 8 o'clock? Uh, 7.45. Good thing is, I don't need my, my sun visor. Because the sun is going down. And more than likely, I'm not going to catch any traffic. So we'll see what happens. It's getting a little chilly. So the sun went down. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to uh, drive my car because they forecast some rain. a little birdie uh, they needed the little warmies so they cut the grass and make the worms come up and the little birds are eating them pretty beat up I'm pretty tired today we did a gazillion pools I didn't even count I lost count and most of them were full of pollen pollen and uh, tree stuff those little, little squigglies that look like strings those things are strong they get caught up in your windshield and your wipers and you have to fight to break them off. Alright. So hopefully there's no traffic. I'll get home quickly. Woo -wee, today was nice and warm. like in the 70s like 71 72 but the pollen still out oh I got pollen in my eyes now Jesus boy that burns gonna record for a little bit and then that's gonna be it because I'm tired I'm not gonna speak much I got nothing to say only that I'm tired
Namaste. I'm trying a different camera position, but it's too low, I think. It might be too low. Oh, I gotta watch my speed. 30 miles per hour over here, and the cups are on full force. Sometimes they hide over here. You can see the caravan of people coming into the Hamptons already. They're getting ahead of the holiday weekend. Oh, there's some workers too, heading back home. Not all of them are out-of-towners. Alright, so the speed limit here is 40 already, I think. Yep, 40, I see it there. Tesla guy. Now you can go. sailing. Alright, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright. This is like the Brichampton school zone that I didn't want to pass this morning. traffic even in the afternoon like right now there's nothing it's clear but sometimes the, the line is way back there and in the morning same deal coming this way because the school cool bus is turning in dropping kids off and you gotta avoid your uh, the slow points at all cost Great, there's nothing. <laughs> All right, be back in a little bit. All right, so my microphone adapter became dislodged from the tape that I put on it. Velcro tape gave way, so I'm gonna have to say my goodbyes now and just take it off and uh, save it, otherwise, I'll lose it and just record the regular wind. So, in any event, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Any suggestions 
you can put it in down below this is classic by rider sun enough for now